I'll explain you about the pre-planning in a robotic knee replacement surgery. For every patient who is planned for the robotic surgery, we ask him to get a CT scan done. A CT scan not only of the knee but at the hip, thigh, knee, ankle, foot. A CD of CT scan comes and we put it for a segmentation. So there is an auto segmentation which is done on a software by software on its own. And after the auto segmentation, which usually takes 10, 10 to 15 minutes, a system will give me a full details about patient's leg. Like here you can see, to plan a femoral implant, to plan the thigh cap and the, a tibial cap, it will give, system will give me some data like this, like femoral head center which I can see in four planes, the coronal, sagittal, axial and a 3D model in which I can go a millimeter wise and check it, the accuracy of the points. Even in a 3D model, I can rotate it and say. Then I have to mark the condyle that is knee center. Again, I can see it on the all the plane. Medial epicondyle, that is another important point to mark the rotations. The lateral epicondyle, that is the outer epicondyle. Medial posterior condyle, lateral posterior condyle, medial distal condyle, lateral distal condyle. So, when I register the, these eight points, accurate points on a software, a software will give me idea about the implant and its fit. So, again I can check how this, you, you can see this colored margins, these are margins of the implant and how it is going to fit. You can see it to the last cut of the implant. Even you can make every window big and you can see from a 360 degrees all around and you can check the fit of the implant here you can see there are some values which are generated by the system like how much it is gonna cut medially how it is gonna cut laterally how is gonna cut posterior medially and posterior laterally. Even it will give us and more information about flexion. Like how much I need to flex the implant or how much patient's body demands the flexion for the implant. And even the rotations can also be managed here with these windows I can change the rotations. So thus in pre-planning a surgeon has a full hand to manipulate the implant, the position of the implant and give it the best what patient's body is demanding. After this for the TBL base plate now we have finished with the femoral cap we are going for the TBL cap for this, I have to register few points yeah, like center of the TBL bone. Again, I can weave it in on the four windows. Ankle joint center. The TBL tuberosity. PCL fossa. Medial condylar center. And lateral condylar center. So, when I give this six points the system will give me a size of the implant as you can see it here it is showing size 2 tbl base plate will go i can see this again you know all windows how is it fitting so i can match the slope and the you know size as per the deep bone ct cuts you know all windows even i can enlarge this and I can see how it fits from all the direction, which is not possible with the 
नॉर्मल और फर्स्ट और सेकेंड जनरेशन रोबोटिक सिस्टम इवन आई कैन गो वन स्टेप आई हेड एंड टेक आउट द इम प्लान एंड सी हाउ द माई कट्स इज गोन आर लुक ऑल दिस दिस टूल गिवज अ सर्जन फ्री हैंड टू गिव अ पेशेंट वॉट इज बॉडी इज डिमांडिंग and he is giving the best position as per his bony landmarks so after this thing a surgeon can assess his final plan so after surgery patient's knee is going to look like this a bent knee will become a completely straight and this will look from the front side like this from the side it will like this from the back side it will like this and the, all the information about tomorrow surgery is displayed here so we are going to use size b as a femoral cap out of which how much we are now got medially distal laterally all the cut in sub millimeter you know values are displayed in the screen even some rotation flexions is also here then the tbl base plate which size is going to be used and this software gives a freedom to again you know view the cuts for the last time before going for the surgery in all the planes and we get a a system generated report is you know generated for the needle so this is our pre planning report we usually hand over these reports to the patient after the surgery okay where all things are pre planned on the day of the surgery this data is goes to the robotic arm through a pen drive and on the day of the surgery the actual surgery surgeon goes to the theater surgeon opens up the knee and the robotic arm comes and does all the cuttings which we have planned here so robotic arm does the all cutting work it takes all the cuts which we have planned as per the pre planning and the artificial intelligence and the camera system is monitoring from the opposite side so the robotic arm tool which will cutting tool usually gives all this precise cut you know surfaces so the accuracy of the surgery or the precision of the surgery is very high and the final results becomes accurate so the ultimately patient gets a long standing a long surviving a knee replacement surgery happy knees a much much faster recovery less pain less blood supply and less physiotherapy also this is all possible with the qvis third generation robotic arm system